Welcome back everybody, this is Awaze back with the next video of Maven Essential Training Series. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a Maven project. It's going to be a very quick and short video. So let's create a new project. We're going to go to File Menu, click on New Project. And now usually we select Java or Java FX for a Java FX application. But we have an option for Maven in the category. And inside that, we have a few projects. We can create a Java application, Java FX application. But I want to select project from archetype. Now, if I'll take you guys to a Maven documentation. So we go to Maven Apache documentation in here we have few plugins a maven plugin so we have seen clean compiler deploy and this uh, surefire plugin now if i take you down in tools we have this archetype tool right which basically generate a skeleton project from an archetype so that's what we're going to select let's go back to netmeans i'm going to click on project from archetype click on next and now we can search the archetypes from here so if we go back to uh, documentations, if I click on archetype and you will see we have so many archetypes here and uh, we'll go back to NetBeans and here I'm going to search for maven-archetype-quickstart. Okay, that's what I'm going to choose. So I'm going to click on it and we have the group ID there, artifact ID and we click on next. Now we're going to name our project. So I'm going to say maven example and then we can give a group id so we'll just change this to maven example i'm going to click on finish and now it actually going to download a few plugins and dependency for us and it will create a project for us so as you can see here build successful we have the project left i'm going to open that and here we can see we have a few folders the first one is the source package Inside that we have a package, what we just named it for. So com maven example dot maven example. We have this app dot java file, which basically have just the hello world applications, not very fancy. I'm gonna delete these comments. We have the test package, which is basically on JUnit. So if we click on dependencies, we don't have any dependency right now, but we'll just add few dependencies. So test dependency is the JUnit 3.8.1 jar java dependency is jdk 1.8 which is installed in my pc we have the project file which has the palm.xml file so i'm just going to open that and now you can see inside that we have a group id artifact id so version is uh, 1.0 snapshot i'm going to actually delete this and make it 1.0 we have the name maven url properties and we have the packaging as well for the jar now I'm gonna add a, another dependency here, so I'll show you how to add it. So dependency, and then we just close dependency tag, and inside that we will type the group ID, which are the basic coordinates for any dependency. So we go type log for J, and then we need artifact ID, and that would be the same name, and then we have the version. So the version, we can select one of them. And then we have the scope as well. What is this for? So if it's a JUnit you are adding, then you can add scope as a test. <coughs> I'm gonna save this file. And then you will notice here, we will have something in the dependency. So if I just expand this now, you can see it actually downloaded log4j and the version number of that log dependency there. So right now we can actually run this application so maven basically created a full project for us well it's kind of same but it's more organized if we in the next video i will show you how to work with the command line i'll actually show you quickly here so cmd we are going to go to this folder actually so i'm going to right click on this file or maybe we need to go to file explorer and find this project so we'll just go to to example i'm not sure where i saved that but wherever i save that should be in here that would be maybe an example okay so we have this base package and then we have this palm.xml file i'm gonna hold on shift key right click and i'm gonna open the command line here 
and here I'm going to type mvnpackg package command, which is going to build this project in jar file for us, as you can see here. And now once I run that command, we see this target folder here. I'm gonna open this and we have all those test classes, Sunfire reports, status archive classes for our uh, <coughs> application. So we have this jar file as well, which basically it's nothing in there. It's just the hello world application. That's why it's not going to run it. And uh, yeah, that's how you can create a Maven project with archetype. All right. So there are a few other things that you could try. Try Maven. Try this uh, uh, web application. Try this Java application. What's the difference between that? Java FX application. So you guys know about it, but I want to show you that what are the archetypes. So you can find multiple archetypes online, which will automatically adjust and organize your project for you. All right. So in the next video, we'll learn how to create a Maven project with IntelliJ IDEA, which is a lot simpler as well. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.